Hello, I'm Ben Mostaller, aka D-Way Ben Fan, and in this video I'm going to tell you about the Miami Heat, all Miami Heat, all my experiences, and why I'm the biggest fan. Well, I got my championship shirt on today. Every day I wear Miami Heat, every day, whether it's a shirt, jersey, I have my warm-up jacket, I got everything set for the Miami Heat. Um, how it got started, like in the Miami Heat, back in 2006, um, I would have been like nine years old. Um, I watched the Miami Heat. Um, or I was, yeah, I was playing a video game, and um, I'll never forget it. Uh, I just picked the Miami Heat. I was, I just started getting into basketball, so I thought I'd play a basketball game. And Dwayne Wade kept making them, making them, making them. I'm like, boy, this guy's good. So around Thanksgiving. Um, they played, and I was it was on TV, and I just flipped to it, and I watched them play, and of course, Dwayne Wade did good, Shaq did good, and I'm like, wow, this team's good, I'm going to start watching them. So, I start watching the Heat, and I just got into it the first year, they won the championship the first year, I watched the Miami Heat back in 2006, it was awesome, uh, and I've been a loyal fan since, I've been to nine games so far, um, six in, uh, Miami, uh, I went to two in D.C. and one in Cleveland, which was my first basketball game, back in 2007 for my birthday. Um, and Dwayne was out on injury, and I was like, no, I wanted to see Dwayne. But Shaq was there, so um, we go to Cleveland, um, and LeBron's playing for um, Cleveland at that point. And the Heat went in overtime, and it was awesome first time, you know, first time going to see a Miami Heat game, and they won in overtime against LeBron, and Wade wasn't even playing. It was awesome. Then I went to uh, Miami next, and Wade didn't play again on injury. It was a preseason game versus Atlanta. They lost that one. Um, and then I went to Washington, D.C., and Wade finally played for the first time and had 30-some points against the Wizards. That was in 08, I believe, or 09. But I, I love the Heat forever, um, and especially Dwayne Wade. He's my biggest idol. So, yeah, that's my Miami Heat experience. I never miss a game. I got NBA League Pass. I watch all the games. I'm going to watch tonight. If I think it's on League Pass. It's on the NBA TV. Let's see if they can break the franchise record. Um, against the Minnesota Timberwolves, I watched yesterday. When I came back against the Knicks. I get real hyped about it. But I'm just going to go around the house and show you the Heat stuff I have. Which, this could be a long video because I have a lot of Heat stuff. But, you know, we might just sum it down. So, as you see right here, I got my Dwayne Wade action figure. Um, that is pretty cool. And I also got a Haslam bobblehead that's beat to crap because I bought it for my cousin. I got a Shaq Miami Heat thing there. Um, I got a Dwayne Wade plaque here. Um, but, like, my cousin, like, beat that up. He's He's little. He's eight or nine, so, yeah, that's what he did, uh, but I got it back from him, because they moved, and, you know, I'm like, I wanted them, so we got a Dwayne Wade controller, because, you know, I got to play my PS3, uh, I got NBA 2K13, you know, all those video games down here, um, let's see, mainly all the stuff's upstairs, um, that I have, uh, Probably what you'll notice is all my shirts, all my Miami Heat shirts, jerseys. We'll count them because I never have a full count of what I have, and I always order new shirts, and most of them are in the wash. Most of my Miami Heat stuff's probably in the wash right now, so I'll have to go down, back down and look. But I got my Miami Heat just warm up hoodie here that I wear every day, and showing off the heat. It's a nice hoodie. I got it from the Sports Authority. It was only it was for like seventy nine dollars. It wasn't a bad price. Um, what else do I got out here? Miami Heat. Um, I got this photo. It was for me, my first Miami Heat game back in '07. Um, that was awesome that night because it was the first Heat game I went to in Miami. Now we get into the good stuff. My cat's laying here. <clears throat> Let me turn on. Well, you might not need a light. So, you can see Dwayne Wade poster there. I got a Miami Heat Championship pl plaque 
right here. I got a Dwayne Wade one right there. Uh, got that is probably one of the awesomest things I got down in Miami. I picked that up. Um, got a Dwayne Wade bobblehead. Dwayne Wade and Shaq back in the back there, just staying in there. Um, got a cup from one of the games at Walmart, that Dwayne Wade thing, so I picked that up, got my Miami Heat hats, got just a regular Miami Heat hat, I got the championship hats, um, I got all three of them right there, I got Wade right there, um, I got his book, which is fantastic to read, I got it the first day I could, uh, Father First. That's awesome. Uh, the last game I went to that was this past November. I got the um, you know the booklet here from the game. They beat the Nets by thirty. Uh, I got the championship ring. Um, I'll show you the championship ring here in a minute. Um, I usually wear it all the time, but I'm gonna show you guys my shirts first because. I wear heat stuff every day, and some of the shirts I don't even fit anymore. I got Welcome to Wade County, which is one of my favorite shirts. That's awesome. But it's getting very old, so I just wear it to sleep sometimes. I don't wear it out too much. Um, oh, yeah, Miami Heat headband. I got my Dwayne Wade verse band somewhere. I got Miami Heat everything everywhere. And it, you know, like just sitting on the floor is another Miami Heat hat. I have Miami Heat. And that's why I'm the biggest Miami Heat fan forever. And hopefully somebody from the Heat will see this and be like, oh yeah, he is. Maybe he can mark it for us or something. I got this cool Dwayne Wade thing here. Picture drawn by somebody. Pretty cool. Uh, but I got more Miami Heat stuff up here, so, uh, let me go in my closet now and see how many shirts. So we got one shirt there, there's more downstairs, uh, yeah, I gotta go see how many I have. I'll show them to you guys, and hopefully the Heat organization will be like, oh man, this kid is the biggest Heat fan, because when people... Back when LeBron came, it was like, oh, you just went for LeBron. I'm like, no, I've been a Heat fan since 2006. And I live in Pennsylvania, so it's not like I live down in Miami and I can catch a lot of games. So when I go down to Miami, I go to a game, I have to. That's a nice Dwayne Wade shirt. I have one just like that that's black in here. I got my Dwayne Wade uh, Swingman Authentic Jersey. I believe this is a Swingman Jersey. Um, no, it's authentic. It's an authentic Dwayne Wade stitched nice jersey in here. So that's, what, three, shir two shirts, one jersey so far. Uh, got my LeBron Nike Dry Fit shirt. Got a free shirt that I got at that Nets game down in Miami. They gave them away, which was pretty cool. So that's, uh... Two, three, three shirts, or four shirts, yeah. Four shirts, one jersey so far. I got a white hot heat shirt. Because, you know, the heat are white and hot. White hot. I got a championship shirt from last year. Got a LeBron shirt there. Uh, I'm not even keeping track anymore. Just right next, I got Dwayne Wade. I got the other one that was is similar, D Wade. I got okay. I got the NBA Finals shirt. I got down in uh, Saint or uh, sorry Fort Lauderdale at the Hard Rock. I got a, a LeBron jersey. I got a 2012 NBA Championship shirt with all the signatures on the back. I've never even met any of the Heat players, which is a surprise, and that's my dream. If I met Dwayne Wade, that would, that would be the best. I got a Dwayne Wade shirt here, 
that's that's a nice shirt. It's a 360 gear. Um, got a nice Dwayne Wade shirt there. Yeah, I would be my, if anybody sees this and knows somebody from the Heat. I mean, if I could meet Dwayne Wade, that that would be the best thing ever. I got the Christmas jersey from this year on Christmas Day. I wore that with my Miami Heat warm up jacket. I was showing off the Heat gear. Um, I got jerseys from a long time ago. I got Dwayne Wade here that I don't fit anymore. I got one with my last name on it. Of course, three for Dwayne. Getting to some more jerseys here. I got a Shaq jersey that I used to wear. What size? This is a kid's large. Can't even wear that anymore. I got a Chris Bosch jersey that I've had for a couple of years now. I got a lot of more jerseys. Um, and everything's everything I talk about is heat mainly. I got a Beasley jersey from Beasley when Beasley used to play. I, and then uh, two weighted jerseys again. So, yeah, and there's more. Like, this isn't all. There's more in my uh, downstairs. So, let's go downstairs and look in the wash. It's probably sneaky. Oh, I gotta show you my. Um, I gotta show you my Miami Heat ring here. So, I got the replica ring. Really cool. That's my dream, guys, to meet the Miami Heat, one of the players. I don't care who. Preferably Dwayne Wade, because he's my idol. Everything's Dwayne Wade. D. Wade, Ben fan. That's where I got D. Wade from. Everything's D. Wade. Everywhere, every day, Dwayne Wade for me. If I met LeBron, you know, anybody, just to be a Miami Heat fan, you know, I'm happy to be a Miami Heat fan. So, I definitely got more in the wash. I don't know if I can get to them. I wanted to show you guys um, what it looks like. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, here's the All-Star shirt I got this. Here, East Wade. That one is one of my favorite shirts to wear. Just because the color's nice and fits me well. Um, I know I got some more. But... That's it, guys. Thanks for, you know, watching this. Uh, if you're from the Miami Heat and want to be like, oh, he is the biggest Miami Heat fan, uh, maybe we could send him to a game or meet the one made. You wouldn't know how much that would mean to me. That that would mean the world. Meeting one of those players, you know, it, I, I'd just be speechless because Dwayne Wade's my idol. And, you know, he's just a great person to, to you know, follow and follow his steps on what he does for charities and everything like that. It's just amazing. And, you know, that's, that's how you, that's a person that you should be idling is somebody that gives back and does good things and is a great NBA player. So I'm going to get going. Guys, it's a long video. Thanks for watching. We'll, I'll see you guys. Later, bye.